Assalamualaikum, children, my dear elders, brothers and sisters. Well, I welcome you into our Children's Planet show once again. Alhamdulillah. As you know, I am Auntie Shala Moladina and we do these shows to educate children, to look at the signs of Allah and with this, I need help with the children of children and as usual on our, in our studio we've got two lovely children and I'm going to introduce you to them. Our topic today children is autumn leaves. As you can see in the background you can see some autumn leaves and what we've tried to do children today is look at the signs of Allah a little bit more closer because we tend to look at all these lovely leaves and all the lovely sceneries and all the lovely beauty of Allah has created around us, we talk about it, we even look at the Quran, we even find it in the Quran. But how often do we actually look at it closely in the sense that we pick it up and we make an activity out of it? So that it rem we remember and we appreciate more. And we look at it so closely that we realize no one else other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can create something like this. So, as you can see, it's a different setup today and we have tried to make it more creative because in, often on our shows we don't enough get enough chance to be to do some artwork. And artwork is really important because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is a great artist. He's Al Musavviro and he's a beautiful artist. As you can see the world around you is painted beautifully. And so we're going to try and get a taste of it. But before we do that, I'm going to introduce you to the lovely guests and then I'm going to tell you the ayat that we're going to focus on today, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. And you would like to introduce yourself to the children? My name is Fatima Zahra and I'm 10 years old. MashaAllah. Thank you for coming, Fatima Zahra. Are you looking forward to today's show? Yeah. Yes, it's very different. Yeah, it is. It is? And I think you're quite excited. Would you like to get your hands? in the paint and leaves. Yes. Yes, we're going to tell everybody what we're going to be doing today. And next to Fatima Zahra, we've got... Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sophia and I'm seven years old. MashaAllah, well done Sophia and welcome to our show. How about you? Are you excited? Yeah. About the activity? I'm going to tell everybody in a moment what the activity is about. And let's tell you, children, today we've got Fatima and Sophia here with Auntie Shella. We're going to try and experiment some colors. We're going to look at some paints. We're going to look at some leaves. I, early on the day today, I had asked them when they went for a walk. I think Fatima was for, went for an early walk in the park with the yeah. family. And you collected some leaves. Because we're looking at autumn leaves, I had asked both the girls to bring some leaves of their own choice that they would find and look at the colors of the leaves as you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us met four different seasons what are those seasons um, one is summer one is spring one is winter and one is autumn wonderful and what is the order of it like what do you think that by looking at the leaves in front of us what kind of weather do you th season do you think we are entering in um, I think it is autumn it is autumn and that's a sign isn't it what tends to come after autumn? And then we have to get our woolies out. Winter. Winter, that's right. And then after winter, we get? Spring. Summer. Spring. And then we get? Summer. Summer. So Allah is giving, giving us a taste of beautiful seasons. And how lucky are we that we live in a country that we get to see all these beautiful sceneries. Auntie Shella has got some sceneries for you as well. We're going to look at the same scenes. Children at home would like to look at the scenes. I, and I am absolutely sure that you have seen these sceneries in your life with your own eyes. But sometimes we don't focus so much, do we? We just drive away or walk away. We don't see it in a different light. Today we're going to look at autumn and autumn leaves in a very different light. And we've got different leaves here, as you can see, children. All different types of colors are on it. We are going to be talking about the different colors that you see. And I'm going to be holding up these leaves as you can see. Can you show me some of the leaves that you brought with you? And when you was collecting the leaves, what were you looking at? 
when he was collecting? What were your aim to? What colours? Um, did you look at the colour? Did you look at the shape? What do, were you looking like at? Orangey, because it's it's going to be autumn. So right. if you turn it, then we can have a look. Yeah. Oh, look at those different shapes. I've been looking at the different shapes as well. I've been fascinated by, you know, throughout the year goes by, we don't, unless we foc decide to focus, we don't really notice, do we, that they've got beautiful shapes. And what about you, Sophie? You've got some more here as well, I can see. Yeah, Sophie, I think you've got slightly different shapes that you have found. Are, you, are they from your garden, Sophia? Uh, Where are they from? They were from the outside. You went for a walk outside as well? No, we, uh, like where the cars were parked. Oh, on the, on the driveway outside. Yeah. This is where I, co I collected some of the leaves from there as well and some of from my garden. Try to get different... If you hold it up, it just see if you can focus on... Can you see the different shape? It's long and ovalish and it's got different edges on the sides. And the ones that she's got more long leaves and you've got more roundish ones. Can you see? Yeah. They're all different trees have different leaves. And you've got some different type ones as well. Oh, look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. It's shaped like a flower. It's <laughs> shaped like a flower. What colors are on it? It's red you can and get green. Red and green. You can see different shades. And some of it turning into purple on the other side. Well, we're going, I'm going to sh try and show you some of the slides, but before we do that, Aunt Shella has got an ayat from the Quran. And I'm going to tell you about it, because children who are watching at home must be thinking, what are they doing today? What's art got to do with Islam? What's paints got to do with Islam? And often we miss that bit. We read Quran, children. We read the translation. We talk about it. We listen to the lectures, we go to the mosque, we do the fasting, we do the charity, we do a lot of things, which is ibadat. One of the ibadat, children, is about looking at the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you're out and about. Remember, in every show we've talked about the signs of Allah in our planet, Earth, isn't it? Yeah. And you don't have to literally be all the time on the musalla or praying all the time. This is another way of doing Allah's zikr, Allah's ibadat. And Allah loves it very much. It's like if you've made something, if you had done a little model at school, or someone's created a wonderful piece of um, architecture, and people come and admire it, they look at it. You feel happy, don't you? Because you think, oh, look, I'm being noticed. I've created something. People like it. It's worth it. People are recognizing me. Allah wants us to recognize, doesn't it? Yeah. He wants us to recognize him by his signs. Now, in the ayat, surah, this is from Surah Anam, Surah number 6, ayat 59. Now, in Quran, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Awuzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa taala is saying, "With Him are the keys of the unseen, the treasures that none knows but He. He knows whatever there is on the earth and in the sea. Not a leaf falls but with His knowledge." There is not a grain in the darkness or depths of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, green or with withered, but is inscribed in a record clear to those who can read. This is from Quran, Surah number 6, Ayat 59, Surah Anam. Then another place Allah talks about, and indeed we have created man, and we know whatever thoughts his inner self develops, and we are closer to him than his jugular vein. This is Surah Qaf, number 50, Surah number 50, ayat number 16. In both places, children, Allah is talking about knowing every single drop of grain of sand that you know the desert has yeah. sand every little grain that you can't even sometimes see Allah knows about it every little grain 
So compared to that, everything that we do, Allah notices every single thing, whether it's good or bad. Um, I know a story. Okay. The, there was this uh, teacher and uh, his her class, and she said, "Each of you take an apple, and hide it where no hide it and eat it where no one can see." So all the children went. Someone under the cupboard. Someone in into under the tables, and they went all around the hiding places. But one boy didn't go anywhere. All the others came back and they had eaten the uh, apple. And then the teacher asked, why didn't you eat your apple? And then the boy said that I didn't eat my apple because I didn't have no anywhere to hide it because Allah can see everywhere. Wonderful. Thank you for that story. Fatima, who told you that story? My mom. Your mom. See, this is how you're supposed to teach children, isn't it? that Allah is watching us. And that little boy who's believed in his mom, whoever told him, and now that you know about it, you know that Allah is watching, isn't it? And so today, Auntie Shell has come up with this idea of going and collecting some leaves. And that's why I asked you as well to bring some leaves that you find you might like to show everybody. Because if you look very, very closely on, t on these leaves, you can see some veins. Can you see? Yeah. Now, do we have veins like these on our skin? Have you looked? Look in our body all over. We have some veins. What's yeah. running through them? Is it blood? Of course it's blood. And if that blood doesn't run in all over our body, which takes the food around the body, what will happen to us? Mm. Without food and oxygen, it tra mm. oxygen travels in it as well. What we, will happen to our bodies? We can die. We will die. Now, there's a lesson in it. These leaves need what to live al stay alive? Have you learned anything at school about it? I'm testing you on the spot. I haven't asked you to prepare this. What needs what well, lots of? They need water. They need water. They need food. So where does the food come from? The, the sun. sun. Absolutely. They, I don't want to go into the science of it because it'll become too detailed for you guys. And because I haven't asked you to prepare, I won't put you on the spot. But the water and the sunshine and the soil underneath, they absorb the minerals and the photosynthesis. It's a whole process of it. Yeah. So now, there's so much science attached to it, and it's still people sometimes don't notice the signs of Allah. We have an activity, children. What we're going to do to have a closer look at these leaves, as you can see there's some veins, that shows it's like us, it's alive. The leaves were alive once, but now they are dead because they fell down. Just like that, how we are born, and we live at a certain time, and then we die. And Allah knows everything about us. Just like that leaf, it has a short period of time that it lives. It comes out in the, and start coming out in spring, and then summer it all blossoms, and then, then comes autumn and it dies. And Allah brings new leaves. Just like Allah will bring new people when our time is up. Yes, Sophie. And I know what the leaves go on the ground. They go on the ground. They go on the ground and then it gets um, new leaves on the trees and then again it falls. Just like that, Allah is saying there is signs in it. If you're not careful, if, I, if you don't worship Allah, you don't want to talk about Him, I will bring some other people. Just like these leaves. So much signs in these leaves that fall from the trees. Let's have a look at some of the pictures on the slide in a moment. And those slides, as you can see, can you see children? It's a beautiful leaf and it's a focus of a leaf. Can you see the vein running through in the middle? Yeah. It's a different colors that you can see. And Allah is so beautiful. Look at that, how he's painted. And Allah doesn't paint like us with a brush. He just says, B and it's there. Look at the colors. Can you look at the yellows and the reds? And you can see the sky through the beautiful blue sky. And then you've got the reds. What other colors can you see? Tell me. And there's purple. And there's what yellow. Other? Yellow. There's green. Green. And look at the scenes. 
Look at those beautiful scenes mm -hmm. all over. Look at the beauty of, look at that. That's extraordinary. Extraordinary. Look at the absolute, who's painted that? Who's made that beautiful? Allah. Look Allah. at that. Allah. Now no one else can do that. Has anyone ever been able to create something like this? Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. no. And these are alive. Can you see the rains running through them? There's water, there's sunshine, there's soil, they have roots. Just like we have roots of faith. If we don't work on our faith, just like these leaves, they have roots in the tree, they grow on the tree, they get the food, they get the sunshine, and they die without complaining to Allah, but they live the way they want, they have to live. In each, in each season, they hmm. change color. They do change color each hmm. season. That also is a sign that we age. First of all, what are we? We are babies. Babies. And then we turn into toddlers, and then we go into juniors, and, and we become, sorry, infant, and then juniors, and then we become children. Young adults. And then we grow into proper mummies and daddies mm -hmm. and then we grow into grandmas, grandmas and grandfathers mm -hmm. so can you see the stages and by looking at these leaves children who are watching and the parents who are watching us this is a very important sign from just looking at this leaf we can look at the whole lifespan that we can have now we've looked at some of the some of the scenes which will be come back to it after some time because there's plenty of them as you can see we're going to keep going back to those to we can appreciate beauty of Allah but before we do that what is the activity today it's autumn leaves we are going to paint the autumn leaves now sorry have you got a call okay and if anybody wants to call in they can call in as well if they want to give the views can't they yeah. And they can tell us how are they finding a new activity on Children's Planet. And do you like this? Would you like more ideas like these to learn the signs of Allah? Then it will give us a good feedback. So we would like to hear from you. If you have been on a walk outside looking at some colorful leaves which are changing colors. Because some of the trees are still green. Can you see? Pass it around. Have a look. Can you see some of them are still green? Now then what is the sign in this now? I have got some leaves. We've got some leaves in front of us that are autumn, that withered, like Allah says in Quran. Even that they are withered, green or withered. We've got some green ones and we've got some withered ones. I've got some large ones here that are picked up. As you can see. Yeah? Can you see how beautiful they are? I love this color. Look They're at that. If you perfect. see in the light, you can actually see the veins very clearly. Yeah, they show. They show. Look at them. Every single one of them. Okay. So we've got some of these. Yeah, it's a similar colors. And then we've got this large one that I picked up. This is quite a wild one, actually, that I went outside in my front garden, and there was this... Um, on one of the, when I took a little walk further down, I saw this little, oh, little bug on it as well. How lucky are we? I didn't purposely bring this bug. But if you can get a shield bug, this one is. If you can get a focus on it. If you can get a focus on the shield bug. Can you see? It's moving. We are very lucky that the shield bug has traveled with us. <laughs> It's walking up my finger. You can see that. Yeah? Shall we put the shield bug somewhere that it doesn't mind? Um, put it on a leaf here, maybe. Here we go. You can see better on there. We are very lucky that we've got an insect who followed, who hide in these little leaves. Now, some of them are green, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here. There is not a grain in the darkness or depths of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry. Now, are these more fresh? Yeah. They're fresh, aren't they? If you have a look, closer look at them, then we can see they're very, very fresh. And then these are not fresh. They are very are withered and they're dry. And you can actually put them together. It makes a noise. Can you see that? Yeah. It makes a lot of noise because they're so dry. 
Now, I'm going to put it back. As you can see, we've looked at the ayat in Quran, and we've looked at some of these signs that we brought. Some of the leaves are green, and some of the leaves are not green. They're and not they're fresh. Yes, Sophie? Some of the leaves can um, smell nice, and some... They can smell nice. Actually, you're right. It does have a bit of a smell. It does have a bit of smell. So maybe they've all got different smells as well. So as you can see, I brought all these different ones to look at. And now this is a completely different shape altogether, as you can see. These are long and these thin. These are long and thin ones. And there's some baby ones still wanting to come out. Really tiny ones. Now, they have stopped. Some of the baby ones, and the weather changes, they don't come out. Now, what was the sign, children, that some people will live longer than the others? others. Like some of the leaves are, have withered. Their time's up. They fell down. Yeah. But some I had to pluck from the plants yeah. outside. Yeah? Some of them I had to look at these. Look at them in the garden. Can you see? Yeah. Some of them have fallen. Now, this is a very good connection, this picture here, because this is where it brought me the idea when I looked at that that Allah says that every little leaf that drops, I'm aware of it. Okay? How beautiful it is. And this bug, shield bug, is traveled over here now. Can you see that? It's trying to balance itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely little bug. And we're going to keep finding it every this time I think. Colored. This is a different colored one altogether. I can see that one side has gone brown completely. Whereas the other side is very green. Mm. And it's going away now, it's turning more and more into, as it turns into green, it blends into different colors. It shows at different shades. Mm -hmm. And Sophie's got a completely different, it's a beautiful one. And I think we're going to use this for printing just now. And it's very important, children, that I, we talk about this before we do the printing. Because often you're in schools, you would find that we have leaf printing activity but you perhaps might not have seen it in this quite in the same light that we are looking at the plants today. Have you looked at it this way before? No. 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 What's the difference that you've looked at it in the time that we've done leaf printing? What have you thought of when you was doing that? What's the difference between doing it this way and the one that you've done before elsewhere? Um, it's like a bit, like you just have to copy a leaf. In so your focus is just about how oh, copy the leaf? Yeah, you don't actually see the um, beauty, beauty of it. And not connected with Allah? You don't talk about it? You just, like today we are doing yeah. it. Today we've got an ayat from Quran, and we're actually saying that whatever Allah says in Quran is true. You can see it. Whatever He says, nothing is a lie. Okay? so. Now, let's begin, children. If anybody wants to call in in the meantime while we are printing, we can do. And if you want to, in the meantime, run outside with your parent, not literally run on the road <laughs> or go in your garden, and find some leaves like Fatima and Sophie has. And join us. Get some paints, any paints that you have. If you don't have proper paints, then get some crayons or markers or color pencils or anything that you have that you can try and copy what we are about to do here. So, children, oh look the bug has come and settled on my paper now. <laughs> He's having a right nice time. He's on Children's Planet. The little shield bug is on Children's Planet and he's going in between the books thinking this is a nice climb about. <laughs> okay, here's your leaf. Right. What colors can you pick a leaf that you want to print or paint? You can either paint or print. Yeah, what would you like to do? Would you like to print? I think I like quite very much like, can I have one of your leaves, Sophie, please? I want to print it, one, to show everybody. And paper? Okay. Yeah. Sophie's I already been very good because I had asked her to draw it from before. So we saved time. And Sophie, let's have a look what you've drawn. You've actually looked at your leaf. I don't know if you can get a focus of the drawing, I'm not sure. But Sophie's quite drawn exactly a leaf like this. And are you going to paint Sophie into it? Mm. And would you like to do printing? 
Um, yeah. Or would, yeah. So let's have a look at different ways of doing it. So I'm going to get some paint let's out for you. Bug. And the bug is roaming around here, which is fine. We'll put him here. Right. Now, so what are the colors that you find on here? What colors do you think you might need for this? Uh, you need brown for that. You need brown. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Is this brown that matches? Yeah. Yeah. We've got some acrylic paints here. And I'm going to take it out in here, a little tub. You know, Auntie Shella likes to recycle things. This is not really a paint tray, but it's from some food item. Okay? You probably guessed it by looking at it. I've got two tubs on each side, and I put some water in it. And I'm going to put some paint in the middle so that you two can share. And I'm going to put some brown paint here. We are taking it very gentle, slowly, children, because it's the first time, if some of you haven't quite done painting, then at least you can uh, pay attention. So I'm not rushing you, because it's really important with painting that we take our time and explain you. I'm going to open it from the back. There's a little sharp edge that opens it. I'm going to take some brown out here. Okay. So there goes some of your brown paint. Both of you can share, but try not to mix them up too much because then you won't get exact brown if you need. Right. What other color do you think? To, because some of the brown is dark, some are light. What might you need with it? What you other color shape do you think it might be in it? You might need some yellow. Yellow, good girl. And perhaps some little touch of red yeah. somewhere? So, yellow. Do you think this might be the right yellow? Yeah? Let's have a look. We've got this yellow. And we're going to take some yellow out here. Yeah? And... I might need a bit of red. Okay. It's little bit of touch of red. So, I'm going to separate it very far from here. So, you don't... Because red is a very strong color, which can take overpower all the other colors apart from black and dark blue some of the ones so now we're going to move this over here so if you want to put it right on the edge uh, just turn it there you go good girl and we're going to leave some of the leaves in the front and we're going to put that over here i'm going to pass some brushes to you as you can see children you can find different brushes it doesn't have to be very expensive brushes some brushes can be very expensive, but you can get the plastic ones, which are at times difficult to hold the paint. So try not to get the plastic ones. These are fab fiber ones. You can get it from any shops. Which, which shape would you like? I like, like a medium one. one. Medium? This one? Or this round one? Which one do you prefer? Mm. We've got some flat uh, brushes here and some round brushes here. Just take this one if you want oh. take the round one let me see Sophie would you like to have a nice not that's that's quite a nice one to spread or if you are painting um, you can have a small round one using water put that in the middle because you're going to use some painting aren't you so you need a thin brush so perhaps you want to use a thin brush oh. okay now I'm going to leave some brushes in the middle just in case you change your mind we are going to try and paint. Sophie is going to have a go. So, Sophie, you can start painting by turning this around. Okay? And for Fatima, I have a grease here. This is a really nice palette paper I have. Re you know, so you get lots of little palettes in there. So, you can tear it and throw it away. Because you sometimes have palettes that paint can f stay dry and goes crusty on it. It's hard to take off. So this one's a nice one to buy. If you don't have, you can use anything at home. Right. I'm going to take some paint out here. Okay. And let's see if we can blend some of that. We're taking it really nice and slow, children. Okay. So would you like to spread some paint over it? Shall I give you a hand just to see how it works? Okay. So I'm going to take... What are the, the what are the areas that have nice and dark brown? Um, the, the 
by the veins. Okay, let's have a move this out of the way. By the veins. Make it really clear. By the veins. So we put the tufts in the middle. Okay. Lots of dark in the middle. I think you might need some more paint because it's not enough. So you want to have a go? Put the dark colors. You can take a touch of water, to just a very touch, so it doesn't go too dry. So put it in the dark areas and then you can use some of the yellow to go in the light areas. Okay? Right, take some more paint, take some more paint. Sophie, how are you going? So you're spreading the paint, Did you need to spread it out? Good girl. You're doing a different activity because you're painting a leaf, aren't you? And which leaf are you looking at? Where's your leaf? Here we go, there's your leaf, okay? So look at the leaf, okay? Spread it out, now. You've spread it out into the veins, different side, different directions, and then you can use a bit of yellow after washing the brush thoroughly, so they get a fresh yellow in between. There you go. And here you go. If you spread it out, I just want to show everybody how it's beginning to look. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so it's beginning to look. We are just following the colors that are already on the leaves, and. If you don't put too much, because just in case it kind of starts spreading. So if you just do it like that, you finish painting your leaf, and then we're going to take a print of it to see exactly what colors are showing. And Sophie's doing really well because she's chosen red to do the veins. So, Sophie, can I just um, show it to everybody? Because Sophie has started to um, put some of the lines to show the veins like we have in our bodies. To test, this is an indication that we have veins just like this. Really important to do that to create the leaf effect. And she's now after drawing the lines going to fill in the different shades. You can use some of the yellow as well Sophie, okay? Once you finish doing the veins, okay, now let's have a look. Shall we add a little touch of red do you think? Shall we yeah, do that? that just, to, just to give it a bit more of an effect. If you hold on to the brush, you're going to get a little bit of red. It's important that you don't take too much paint out, children, because it can be wasted. So you can always take more. You can t try a little bit and put where you think could be the perhaps the centers to create more of a dimension. Okay, and then we're going to create, if anybody wants to call in, they can call in to tell us about how are they finding a leaf printing. Yeah, you can do a little touch of it as well. And in the meantime, right, whenever you're ready, you can turn it over. And and shall we, are you ready? Yeah. Shall we turn it over? Shall we spread it out a bit more on the edges so you get a proper shape? Okay. Okay, I've got water here. Right. Let's turn it over. Do you know? If press it down. And press it down thoroughly. Children, look how we are pressing it down. We are pressing it down so that you get every single shape. You might not get an exact shade, but remember what we're trying to do here is going to creating the color effect that might be found on these leaves. And this is a really nice steady leaf to use. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, Fatima, and then you can slowly peel it. Now when we peel it, you have to be very careful. You don't, be, don't rush because you can smudge it. So the more you can press and keep it steady, and when you're ready, take it off slowly. Bismillah. Wow, mashallah. Look at that. Let's have a look. 
Now look at that leaf effect. Now we could create a nice wrapping paper out of it. If you keep doing the effects, if you carry on doing what you've just done and do a few more, we could cut out in a bit and see what we can do. Now Auntie Shala, while um, Fatima is going to keep printing, Fatima, here's your brush, sorry darling, I kept the brush. If you do the same thing again, add the same colors and perhaps if you want to add a bit of green to give a different shade to it, yeah? And I'm going to come to Sophia and see what Sophia has been doing. This green doesn't want to come out. They can be a bit temperamental at times, the tubes. Um, okay. There you go. So as you can see, we're having a lot of fun with these paints. Different shades that Allah has created. And we get these paints from nature. By crushing leaves and the sand and the you know the mud and the, some of the stones you can crush. Yeah. So if you really study about paints where they come from, they actually come from nature. Yeah. So now in the meantime, while Sophie is really busy with her leaf painting, you can add. A, do you, would you like a different shade, Sophie? Dif want to add anything else to it, or are you happy so far? Okay. okay. Now, Auntie Shella is going to try and show you children how to create this leaf here. Now either those who are not um, very good with drawing and get worried about drawing can go outside the shape and follow the shape like this. You can stick the, um, the leaf down. You can either stick the leaf down with sellotape and very easily draw it. Okay, and I'm coming to the end here. This is just for your help. You can do a freehand drawing as well because remember the leaves are so many different shapes and sizes, it won't matter. With nature, you can't go wrong. You know, Allah has created so many different types of effects. And you can see here what we are doing. Auntie Shala is just going outside tracing it. Okay, and I've just done a rough idea. Of, I think it's a bit too light for you to have a look but what I've done is actually gone around outside now I'm going to stick this down on top of it with sellotape okay and I should have actually brought the one which is on the reel which is much easier to peel um, cut but uh, unfortunately I couldn't find my reel Right, so we can use scissors. It doesn't matter, you have to improvise. You don't always have to have perfect equipment every time. But whatever you have, you use that. Like I'm not being fussy, but I'm using sellotape to stick this down, this leaf here, on my paper. It does help if you have the right equipment because then you're more relaxed about holding things. Now, you can see this leaf. Okay, I am going to try and create some of this effect here by painting it to show you how wonderful and relaxing and beautiful ibadah this can be as well. Now that doesn't mean that you leave everything and say, Auntie Shala said, this is a wonderful ibadah so you just keep painting all day because your mom and dad won't really be quite happy with that. So sometimes it's nice when you want to relax and you say, oh I don't have anything to do, I don't know what to do, I'm bored then this is something that you can do. Go outside, find an activity for yourself and you can paint and that is looking absolutely beautiful. If I can just show it to everybody. Look at the color effect because you've added green. I'm sorry I made it run by holding it. Just bring it back in because it was a bit runny. Okay, we'll leave it there. So if you use a slightly different shade, shall I give you a bit of purple for the next leaf? And you can just have that as well, yeah? Because I might use a little bit of violet here, actually. And I would like some of this green. Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. 
that's good. Now try and focus on the dark areas, like for example the vein in the middle is a dark area, so perhaps you can apply the darker shade in the middle. And Sophie, how is it coming along darling? That is looking beautiful. Maybe you can add a little bit more yellow on the stem that's coming down. Okay, now I am going to get this very fine brush. I've got a few fine brushes here. Lots of water, clear water. Okay. And while you see these children are so busy, I'm, I hope you're doing this at home as well. Now I have got a red color here. I am looking at this palette that I have taken some colors out. As you can see, I've not taken too much out because it goes to waste. So it's very important you don't waste paint as well. And we've got a caller online. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ya Ali I'm what? here at Batool and I'm calling from Leicester Shell Auntie. I like your topic. In our school topic is also about please. If all Allah's Panatala's creation we should really very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you, Khudafis. Thank you so much for doing that, for calling in and appreciating our topic, Hirabatu. Wonderful, thank you. Keep watching and then one day we want you back in here and you can come and do some painting with us. Now, if we've got very few minutes left, but right at the end, I just want to show you how we can actually create a little effect. Now, I am using a little bit of violet. I'm using dark colors because that's what I like doing. So if I pick up something, a leaf or something, I usually go for the dark shades. So it doesn't have to be, it's your impression, what you see. It's not what other people want you to do, it's what you see. Now this is an artist's impression. So you can use a nice purple, okay? Right, I'm using a little bit of red in it as well. And I'm going a little sharp edge at the end because you can see this leaf has got pointy edges so I am using real points here okay this is just to give you a rough idea how you can create an effect and I'm really happy to hear from Hirabatu that she's enjoying this activity wonderful Let's have a look at Sophie. Sophie, you want to turn your paper around so everybody can see. Wow, mashallah. You have done a fantastic job of painting it. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful leaf. Now, Sophie, you could dry it when you go home. Perhaps what we can do in the next show, we can show everybody how we can frame these leaves. Shall we do that? Because it's a oh, wonderful, wonderful look at this printing, children. Now, Fatima created different shades, different colors. I don't want to run the paint down, so I'm not holding it too high up that way. Can you see? Now, if you keep doing this and create a pattern, you can actually create a nice wallpaper or a wrapping paper. Now, by wallpaper, I don't mean you go around sticking it on your wall. Okay, we've got two minutes left. Now I'm just going to wind it down. So I'm just going to show you how just we create this green effect here. And very fast, as you can see, I'm moving along. And you can see if you can focus quickly on this leaf. Very, just going to do one portion of it to show you. And you can give us a feedback. And we're going to try and show you the feedback address. As you can see on the screen, uh, a feedback address is feedback at hidayat.tv and the Facebook page is Children's Planet on Hidayat TV and we are also on YouTube children. So if you have missed this episode, you can watch us on the YouTube. Now, I've just done one side of it. Okay, as you can see, you can create, if I can just ask brother to just keep it there for two minutes just to show the children an effect that we can create. As you can see, different shades create a different leaf. Yeah? Now this is how you can create. So I used a lot of lilac and purple at the edge, a bit of yellow and a little bit of green. And you can go with a bit of red to create a vein in the center. Yeah? 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I wish we could carry on and with painting children. You can never stop, can you? You just want to carry on and on and on. So shall we just um, say thank you to you all? Can I say thank you for coming, doing your wonderful artifact. I wish we could have a closer because I can actually see the veins in there as well because they're now shrinking. And you can see that, wonderful. Let's have a look at that, Sophie. And I love the way you have done a freehand painting. Beautiful. Thank you for joining us in this little ibadat that we did today, alhamdulillah. So I hope you enjoy doing this at home. And if you've seen it, go and do it. You've got some autumn days left still. Inshallah, next week, we're going to try and see if we can do something more exciting, uh, similar to this. And inshallah, until Saturday next week, between 3 and 4 p.m., Auntie Shala will be here with some children. And we're going to talk about the signs of Allah. Until then, you take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.